Ron, it's a pleasure. Long time no chat. How are you today, pal? Okay? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on, Mad Dog. Always a pleasure, Ronnie. You know, um, that game seven was a tricky game against L.A. Uh, I'm sure you saw some things you didn't love with young players, some base running. Uh, and, and late in the game, in a close one, a lot of swinging at first pitches, uh, not working that count. Young team, I would think you went through that in the offseason, going through those games against the Dodgers. Something to learn from and work on in spring training, Wash. Give me some thoughts there first. Go ahead. Well, that's, that's how you gain experience. Uh, you know, the one thing we did do, um, I think in the past couple years, uh, we showed the Dodgers that we've uh, arrived as far as playing with them goes. And as you said, we took them to game seven. Um, there was an inning there where some things went a little astray. But, uh, you know, these kids come every day, uh, Mad Dog, and they go out there and they leave it on the field every single day. And you can't ask any more than that. The Dodgers were just the best team in baseball. Yeah, they did. And obviously the bullpen really helped them late in that series. And I tell you, though, uh, you know, this team uh, with experience and everything else, I would think maybe ready and could be willing to make that next step. And the Mets have obviously done things. So has San Diego. Uh, it's almost like the Braves are a little underrated as the season starts, you know, based on Las Vegas and win totals and all that thing. And even in your NL East, Ron, I'm sure you guys have taken notice of that. Give me some thoughts there. Go ahead. Well, you know, you have to give San Diego credit for what they're doing. Uh, they put a good club together. But uh, once again, you have to go between the lines and perform. You definitely have to give the New York Mets credit for what they're doing. But you have to go between the lines and perform. And, you know, we, are, we certainly are very proud of what we uh, have accomplished the past few years. And we're going to go into spring training here in 2020. And uh, we're going to prepare the way we always prepare. We're going to go out there. And we're going to pitch. We're going to catch the ball. We're going to run the bases. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to do the things we've been doing the past three years. And when the 162-game season is over, we'll see where we stand. But the only thing we're concerned about is the Atlanta Braves. And everyone is supposed to try to get better. And, um, you know, we, we do feel like we will be one of the teams at the end. I would think so. And Azuna back in port in there, Ron. Tell me about his personality. You can tell the young guys love him. He fits into that clubhouse well. Uh, back important with Azuna. He's not afraid of hitting good pitching either. He's a good hacker against quality <laughs> pitching. He's not intimidated. Give me some thoughts on him. Go ahead. High quality guy. Uh, great teammate. Um, shows up every day to try to be the best that he can be every single day. Uh, he makes people around him better. And that's what a winner is about along with he and Freddie and, um, you know, Darno, who's finally finding himself. Um, our young kids will continue to grow, but he is the straw that stirs the drink uh, here in Atlanta because he takes a lot of pressure off of everyone else. And that's just the kind of player he is. High character. High character. High character, and he's got, again, I love the personality. All right, Austin Riley, uh, what does he need to improve here, secure a spot here for 2021 on his team? Just continue to grow, continue to learn, continue to play good baseball, stay healthy. Uh, he's, he's a very special kid. He's a big kid that can move around third base. If you look at the, the Mets and Patrick said he wasn't that good at third base, but if you looked at him with your eyes on a daily basis, it was a different story. So, you know, a lot of mistakes he made were mistakes of, of, of decisions. And as a young kid, um, a lot of things uh, happens to them physically. But at the big league level, the game moves so fast, and there's a lot of decisions that has to be made. And um, as the year progressed, he got so much better. Um, yes, he's swinging, missing, but this year he cut that down a little bit. He's going to be a, 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 a big potential at the plate because he has tremendous power. And as I mentioned earlier, for a big man, he can move at third base, and he can make all the plays. Yeah, he's, and, and yeah, he's a quality yeah, I, kid. Good athlete. Yeah, good athlete. Yeah. Um, doesn't seem like there's going to be a DH in the National League. I know that could change, but right now you got to prepare that there will not be. I mean, among, obviously, Ozuna didn't have to go to left field, but you won't be able to utilize that spot like you did last year. Give me some thoughts how that alters some plans. Pitchers are going to have to hit, too, so that's going to change some things uh, as far as this spring training is concerned. Ronnie, thoughts there? Go ahead. Well, we have to make certain that our pitchers are ready to do their job other than throw the ball to the plate. Um, they have to be able to bunt. They have to be able to do those things. And, and those are the main things that we're calling on them to do, just to get the ball on the ground, move a runner when opportunity presents itself. But more than anything else, just keep throwing the ball in the strike zone. 
Uh, that's the pitcher's job. So we was fortunate last year that we was able to have the DH and that made things better. But we have played baseball and have won baseball games with pitchers punting and hitting. And it's not going to change our attitude and the way we uh, go about things. If the situation say the pitcher can swing the bat, we'll let him get his three swings and go on back. If the pitchers, if the game say he has to bunt, uh, we will have them prepared in spring training. So when that opportunity presents itself during the season, at least they can get a bunt down. I know he, he probably hasn't even shown up yet. Uh, are you expecting Soroka? I know you'll go slow with him. Could Soroka be ready by opening day? What's the status with him? What can you tell me? Well, I think the status with Soroka is we just got to wait and see. Um, as we go through the beginning of spring and go through the process, I think we'll start judging on where we think he is right there. But for sure, I'm, I'm more than certain that they will not rush him if he's not ready. So I haven't seen him since he's been coming back. I've just been reading things about him. And knowing the type of piece, uh, I think he'll be ready for opening day. But don't hold Ron Washington to that. <laughs> yeah, I will not do that. Well done there. How about the young kid? I, I can't – what, Pache? We saw him a little bit last year in the, in the, NL, in the NLCS. He's a wonderful uh, defensive center fielder. And obviously, uh, he's only 19 years of age, so you got to wonder if he can adapt to the uh, big league pitching on a day-in, day-out basis. Give me a little status report on him. He's the 12th prospect in the sport. We know how good he is. Give me a little update on him. What can you tell me there? Well, he is a, a quality young kid. The one thing we have to make certain that he does is every day he shows up, he knows what his strengths are. His strengths is out there running the ball down, throwing the ball to the right bag. Um, he does have the ability, if you throw the ball in the wrong place, to hit you the ballpark or to spray the ball around the yard. So uh, we just got to keep him from putting the pressure on himself and just go out there and bring his game to the ballpark every day. And his strength is his defense. And we got to make certain that he does that every single day and I think his offense will take care of itself. He's going to go through some growing pains, but we're going to be patient with him. And one thing you 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 just mentioned, uh, he can help us win some ball games on defense. And that's the one thing we got to make sure he's ready to do every single day. Yeah, he's an excellent uh, defensive player. How about the two young kids, the second baseman and the other outfitter, Acuna? Give me some thoughts on those two. I know you work with Albies a lot. Uh, the other one's got a chance to be an all-time great. I don't want to sit there and say that, but we know how much talent he has. Give me some thoughts there, Ron, and I'll let you go. Go ahead. Well, another year, um, and you mentioned it, that uh, Acuna has an opportunity to be an all-time great, and there's no doubt about it. Um, we just got to keep him healthy. We got to just keep him continuously focusing because sometimes the game come easy to him, and we got to let him understand. Right. At the major league level, it's not easy. I don't care how good you are. And the ones that are good, they make it look easy because they go about their business every single day. So we got to get him to stay on top of things every single day. He's another year older, so, you know, he's maturing. Ozzy Alves at second base, he's a little guy that plays a big game. He enjoys the game of baseball. He works at it every single day. He's a tremendous teammate. He wants to win every day. He wants to play every day. And that's the good thing we've got bored in Atlanta with all our young kids. They all have that quality. Uh, they, they got good character. Uh, they enjoy the game of baseball, and more than anything else, Mad Dog, they enjoy each other, and that's why I think we play well together. Oh, you got a good team. Uh, I would not put anything past the Braves. You got good front office, and you and Snicker do a wonderful job. Wash, keep in touch. Thanks for a few minutes. Stay uh, loose now. Stay healthy, most important. Thanks for coming on today. Appreciate it.